Now moving on to more stories, a report on the safety of girls and women shows that 95% of gender-based violence in FCT, Niger and Natural States communities were perpetrated by men and boys. This was made known on Monday by the Flashlight Actions on Girls Safety Flags Project Midline Dissemination Meeting organized by Talitha Kumi Foundation, TCF, in Abuja. The three-year flags project is funded by the UN Trust Fund and implemented by the Talitha Kumi Foundation, TCF, to end GBV and support 750 marginalized schoolgirls between 10 to 19 years. Now, stakeholders at the meeting blamed poverty, culture, lack of skills acquisition, parental care and neglect were some of the causes of the GBV and called for prosecution of offenders to serve as deterrent you know, for others. On um, the midline assessment conducted in our 10 flags communities, um, the, the major cause of um, gender-based violence as identified by the respondents are what, is what? Poverty. 71% is what poverty. That's the major cause of gender-based violence in the communities. And um, the major perpetrators of gender-based violence is what? 75% are what? The men. 20% the boys. So basically 95% is what? Men and boys. We need shelters. We need places where we can keep the survivor safe and rehabilitate her while, you know, um, justice is taking, I mean, its course. And government can support in this regard. The number of people that are speaking out, I mean girls and women that are speaking out now, are more than how it used to be. The culture of silence has been broken. And we have a lot of reports now and I'm standing tall to tell you that um, FCT Command are not leaving any stone unturned.